Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of On The Fly Television. I'm your host, Dennis Gleason. And to the left, I have a special guest today. I have Matt Tucker. How are you doing today, Matt? I'm great. Thanks, uh, uh, thanks for having me. You know, you convinced me to stay in the studio after doing Linux TV and not quite sure why I agreed to it, <laughs> but uh, I'm here, so Another let's sucker go for is born it. every day. Fortunately, <laughs> I didn't take him for anything, so, um, and Jesse did last time, too, but I always appreciate it when people are willing to, at the last minute, jump in in front of the camera. No problem. It's uh, not recorded live, so uh, some people get nervous about being live, but you just did a whole hour show. I think you did great. I, mean, I obviously directed TV Linux, so, um, you know, you have a good presence, and you I had a great director. About. Oh, he kisses up. <laughs> Look at that. It's a professional kiss up. People, he took the class. He built the new procedures for it, and then he built a company around that. I'm sure. I do what I can. <laughs> he does what he can. <laughs> and what was it? What company is that you do? So uh, Jive Software. Uh, we're a downtown Portland company, and I, I will pimp the fact that we have 20 open job positions. Pimp the fact you have a job. You got to do what you can, right? 20 open job positions, folks. So what kind of jobs are they? Are they like uh, all across the board? So we have a lot of open engineering positions. Uh, we have. Uh, any, anywhere from uh, finance to product management. Uh, we're a very cool software company. Cool software company, which really means that they're they're uh, looking for janitors too, probably. <laughs> you know, we don't happen to have any janitor positions open, but there I'm sure go. I'm sure if we <laughs> did, it would be it'd be a very service. cool janitor position. There you go. Well, you'd like to be a software developer, get me coffee in the afternoon and sleep before you leave at night. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, it's exciting because it's always good when you start a company. You have that mixed emotions between going off on your own, you have the money you're spending on it, and the, the hopes that it's going to be successful. And I'm sure it's you know exciting for you, and it's, you know you have worries, and sometimes you know you step at night going, oh, God, if I don't make it or whatever. But um, it's always cool to start it. You at least know that you can do it. You know, a lot of people don't try it, so. Absolutely. So go on to what we're talking about today. As most people know, very little to absolutely nothing about our content because we have nothing to talk about. Generally speaking, we're talking about whatever comes to mind. So um, today being uh, 25th of September, what do we want to talk about? Well, I want to talk about drivers. Just a few little things that have become annoying over recently. Um, things that probably annoy a lot of people. The irony of it, the people that are annoyed the most are the people that violate the problem the most. <laughs> um, and that is when you're coming to an intersection where it goes from two lanes and then you go through the intersection and on the other side of the intersection is now one lane. So you, you go through two and it comes together. And uh, so you have four, what, four different classes of people, right? You have the people that are in the far right lane because they realize that it's a storage lane, it's there by design. They know it's gonna turn into this single lane. Okay, and then you have the people that are in that lane because they have no idea that it's going to end in 15 feet or 50 feet or whatever it is, right? You, 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 exactly. You, we've all been there. If you've been in Beaverton and gone up and down Walker, if you're if you don't know that, then you weren't driving. Probably you're watching, you know, your DVD player in your car. Okay, so you we know that there's two going forward, and now you have the mentalities that are in place, right? You have the mentality of people that want to get through the intersection before you. Okay. Right. Now that could be in either lane. What happens is, of course, you get someone in the right lane that wants to get up there and jump in front of you, right? What they don't think about is the fact that, you know what, if you get through the intersection first, that it's not, not just illegal, not inappropriate, but it's not ethical and it's certainly not American to, to now gun up there and intentionally cut people off, but people do it constantly. Not very nice. Not nice at all. I mean, and you'd be interested to see how many statistics out there probably about that, you know, where they get the get accidents, they cause accidents. Right. Oh, I now, speaking of statistics, though, I don't know if you saw the study. I think it was uh, maybe a month and a half ago, ranking um, the most unfriendly drivers in the nation okay. by state yeah. and the least friendly. And uh, where do I we rank know. out? Well, I don't know. I, I want you to guess. Oh, you want me to guess? Okay. Yes. I would say, well, it's Oregon, so we probably have a little better than California. Of course, California people just wouldn't complain about it as much. Um, I would say we're probably, if we were talking about all 50 states, is that what we have to choose from? All 50 states. I would say we're you know, in the, the lower 25%. We are actually the most friendly drivers in the entire country. Well, there you go. At least I, I was right then, <laughs> indirectly. We're the most friendly drivers in the United States. So if you're out there and you're trying to cut someone off because you want to get that one vehicle ahead just because you feel like it, remember not only will it cause a major pain for you and for them if and more likely when you cause the accidents and statistics show they do cause the accidents right but also if you're going to be changing us from number one to who knows what number sometime they're on the road so yeah you're ruining our reputation you're ruining not our a reputation. good idea i had a lady one time where i was in that lane and i was very nice and i i turned my signal on and the lady refused to let me go 
to merge, even after my lane was gone. And I drive very intentional and purposely. I don't cut uh -huh. people off. I don't tailgate. Or at least I try not to. I guess I do occasionally. But um, so I, I went to turn over. This car was going by, right? And I turned my signal on. It goes past me to start turning over, and I start moving over like I'm supposed to, and I have no lane left, okay? I can't go anywhere. And this lady comes up, and I have her license plate and everything like that, but I'm not the type of person that will you know, do that. But Very nice guy. If you know somebody that's doing this, or this is you at home, where you're intentionally preventing someone from moving over, remember, not only is it illegal, because that person has no more lane, they have to get over. That lane is built there on purpose, okay? They're not just trying to piss you off by getting in front of you. They have to be there. Get over it. Let them move in. Now, I will join you in this rant about merging because I do think that that is one place that Oregon drivers really fall down. Uh, I've lived in the state for uh, just about four years now, and uh, if there's, in general, very nice drivers in Oregon, sure. uh, but the merging does drive me a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy, yeah. Um, now, what I find is actually uh, that people just won't merge um, until they'll try to merge way too early. So instead of uh, you know driving to sure. where uh, people might merge in most states, uh, they'll just kind of merge very early, very slowly. Um, that's the one thing I find <laughs> very annoying about Oregon drivers. Sure. Yeah, and you can see the whole gamut. I mean, I, I will eventually do this, hopefully, is I will take a camera out and I'll stick it out there. So for these bad drivers that are laughing at me right now because you don't like that fact that I'm probably right and you know that you're offending it, um, eventually I will be out there and probably have some other friends helping me um, where we're going to watch the traffic and we're going to you know, do the whole license plates and things like that. And we'll, we'll scrub them out because we don't want to do that, but we might get your face, which could be worse. But you know, that's just to show how inappropriate people are. And it's not that it's a bad thing that people, because there's, there's the opposite side. There's the people that don't let people back in line. And then there's the people that are inappropriate that jump ahead that intentionally try to go fly past you. Right. I had some lady that in a left-hand turn laner from 185th going east on Walker, that as I was turning, she went completely up and around into the far right lane on the left turn, mind you, and sped up and ran past me about 60 miles an hour, just flew past me and jumped in front of me, driving almost on the shoulder for a good half part of it. Wow. And she probably thought she was appropriate. And then she was driving the speed limit after that. It was like, come on, people, get off whatever narcotics you might be on, and remember, you're going to hurt somebody else and yourself, and then everyone else involved. You know. Now, am I getting the sense that perhaps you suffer a little bit from road rage? Actually, no. I, no, I'm, not really. I'm, I'm annoyed sometimes, and uh -huh. when I talk about it, I get annoyed even more. But no, actually, I'm no yelling and screaming. Nope. Um, now, uh, occasionally, I'll, I'll honestly, honestly, okay. I'll say occasionally, I'll say, what the heck? What is she thinking? She just made a left-hand turn going through the intersection from the far right lane across the second lane, the left-hand turn lane, and into the offside street on a red light. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll, I mean, you got to get like annoyed that. sometimes. Yeah. I make comments about it, but I don't. All right. Mean. So we're winding down here. We only have 45 seconds later. See how fast we ate that time up? It's amazing. Isn't it? It's so easy to <laughs> talk about nothing. One? <laughs> <laughs> so again, this is just a reminder for you out there in Washington County or wherever you may be viewing this, that cable access is an option to you if you want to get your voice out there. You want to be seen, you want to be heard, whatever it might be about. Go online to tvctv.org to find out how you can be a volunteer or a producer at Cable Access. Or if you want to call them, call 503-629-8534. Let them know that Dennis sent you and that you want to produce a show. Let them know that you're interested to come in for orientation and or studio class. Thank you again for having me. Thank you very much, Matt Tucker, for joining me. Thanks, Dennis. You guys all have a fantastic evening. So this is where they go through it. All right.